seconds. Oh, dude, actually, I think I figured out how to make it good. You're gonna ball it up? I'm making it into a taco. <laughs> Sixers Internet, welcome back to number six with cheese. That's Corey. I'm Sean. We're your hosts, and today this video made possible by the one and only Larry Gonzalez. Super thanks donated for what we're gonna eat today because you guys can do that too. You pay money, we'll do whatever you want, almost. Uh, today, Culver's Pot Roast Sandwich. Very pumped to get it. It's an evergreen item you can get at any time. We were intrigued by it. Larry's buying it. Let's eat it and let you know if it's any good. Chicago, Illinois, what are we saying? Shh. Hey, crazy kids, couple of pot roast sandwiches from Culver's brand new location in Wrigleyville. Acquired jump cut. Feel how wet this box is. Oh, no, I don't like that. That's weird, right? Don't take me into that journey with you. <laughs> Ugh, you're wet. Why are you so wet? Feel how wet this box is. Is this one? Yeah, this one's soggy too. Yeah, right? It's a real soggy sandwich. Alrighty, well, I mean, let's get into it, obviously. It's kind of why we're here. Uh, you guys are there, and all of a sudden, I'm gonna take you over to the Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Boom, oh my God, dude. Yeah, it's wet. Look at the juices down here, bro. Juice this is bill. miserable. Oh this God, the bun's so... liquefied. How did they, why? I know you just got this. That's not possible. I was about to say it could not have been a better experience. That's I went in there, they crazy. were super nice, chatting me up. The guy's like, Mr. Sean, here's your order. Came over, gave it to me. It was piping hot. I thought it was gonna be like perfectly made. Guys, I'm just dabbing the I'm gonna, bun. I'm gonna try to like punch you in a little bit for this. Cause this I want is you- just a bun dab. Oh, gross. <laughs> Dude. That's crazy. I wish <laughs> you could feel how soggy this bun is. It's disturbing. I wish you guys could be here with us touching this weird oh bun. Oh my God. Larry, I hope you're so stoked for this. It's so great. Because this is such a hilarious episode already, <laughs> I feel like. Like, that's ridiculous. Oh my God, dude. It's it's coming. Oh. The guy told me that the next time I get it, I have to try it as is. He goes, the next time you get it, because you're going to like it so much, you got to get it on sourdough or rye, because your teeth get to the meat faster. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He said that to me. Well, he that, said that to me at a dinner. You know where all your taste buds are at inside your enamel? You and I are a couple of taste buds. That's right. Oh, I'm getting stretched out, ready for this wetness. Stretch. I'm going to try to do a quick little handhold of this for you guys, because I do want to show you. Sounds Mine's not as bad as Corey's. Corey got the <laughs> end of the stick here. It's kind of tough to tell. It's really just a, like it's almost like a pulled pork sandwich, but it's beef. Yeah, shredded beef. Yeah, no cheese, huh? Just meat and bun. Just meat and bun. That's kind of. If you don't mind me asking, are these seven bucks each? Does it say what what the price is on those bad boys, or how much we paid total? Five. Wait, the whole order was five sixty three. Hold on, I got the. I do have the legit receipt right here. Order total. 563. 1563. So the one rubbed off. Oh, uh, these were oh, these were yeah. 709 each. And it comes with either horseradish or barbecue. Yeah, we had we mentioned this while we were eating Culver's the other day, and Larry immediately threw down 25 bones. Which I still love, even if this is weird. That's the fun of the show. It's the fun of the show. It's exactly the right way to put it. And on the big camera, because we got it, there you go. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but you guys don't understand the soppiness that I'm holding yeah, right it's, now. Yeah, it's really just the, my fingers on the bottom bun that's really creeping me out. You know those yellow signs that say like wet floor? I think we need to put up one of these while we eat this. Guys, I got do, a wet floor. Do a crank down on that. I you want a crank down? Give me a crank let's down. Give you, let's crank it down and show you Corey's. I really hope I, this. Like, yeah, oh God, like, that was so vivid. This, like I just, it goes right <laughs> through it, dude. Not the finger banging you thought you'd see today. Oh. <laughs> but we're gonna eat it anyways. I'm gonna go naked and then I'm gonna get into that horseradish. I'm not even touching that sauce. This needs no more extra liquid. All right, little seven and nine. Thanks, Larry G. Cheers. Cheers. You know what? I mean it upside down because it feels more comfortable. 
And it's my the bun disintegrated. Oh, disintegrated, bro. I'm gonna do my due diligence and I'm, try some beef. I'm taking the top bun. The top bun's gone from this situation for me. Okay, the meat is super tender and good. This bun is a travesty. And it's crazy how quick we got the order. Like we don't drive around. We're eating literally what I pulled to the side. That might have been one of it. the fastest like in and outs we've had in a long time. If somebody got this uh, for delivery, oh, bro. the bag would just be brown goo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just eating this. What do they call these? Open face? Yeah, an open face sandwich. One of my least favorite types of sandwiches. No, oh, yeah, look how annoying this looks. <laughs> However annoying it looks, it's doubly annoying. You don't look like you're having very much fun. I'm gonna put some horse horsey radish on in here. I don't know if I don't like horse radish sauce or if I just don't like the, the branding. Horse radish? It's gross sounding. Horse radish. I don't think I've ever tried it. I think people are like, you want that? I go, I don't think I like that. But really, I just don't think I like horse radish. Do you want today to be the day you try it? I really don't. Not with this situation. <laughs> I want to give it a fair shake, and I don't think this is it. This is a travesty. I would have done so many things different on this sandwich. It needs more texture, so like it needs like some more like something in it, not just cheese like a potato or something. Yeah. And the bun is just decimated, but the beef is good. That's what's such a bummer about it. There, there is the makings of something good here. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this bun is crazy. Oh my god, dude! Look at the bottom. Of oh yeah, looks like a public restroom. Yeah, this is a disturbing situation we're dealing with here, guys. I think the horseradish made it worse. And I like horseradish. I'm gonna go into the cubby bear right now and take a few shots. Shots! I'm developing a new sauce. What do you call it? I call it cow bunghole. <laughs> you wanna try it? You mean cow bunga? No. No, cow I don't. butthole. Is it made from that? No. <laughs> horseradish isn't made from horses or radishes. No. Actually, radish might be involved. I really don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. What a bummer and a half. Yeah, dude. But dude, Larry, how funny is this episode though, dude? This, this, we talk about this all the time. Sometimes these are better than when we're going to Moan Zones. Oh, dude. Actually, I think I figured out how to make it good. You're going to ball it up? I'm making it into a taco. <laughs> I take the bun, I fold it in half. Guess what? That's well, actually, it might be more like a hot dog. Yeah, you got it. That's a it's hot dog. It's less like taco bun. Now it looks more like a hot dog bun. It almost looks like a, a bow without the top. Yeah. I'm gonna do one more bite and then I gotta I gotta stop because I'm yeah I'm gonna becoming do one. Depressed. I'm just gonna put a little on my so sauce. my hot dog, my pot roast hot dog, also known as a pot dog. Also, is what happens when I blow smoke into my dog's face. Pot dog, pot dog. Don't do that, by the way. Don't, don't do, do that. that. And also, you don't do that. That's a goof. Yeah, it's not something. That's I do. a goof. Let's get hot. Culver's, I'd fix that. Yeah, there's got to be something we can do about that. Can, can we help in some way? Do you guys own strainers? <laughs> like, put the meat through a strainer. You know those bowls with the holes it in it? What the hell? This is not what I thought today was going to be. Honestly, experience it through this. It's way better. Yeah, it does look. All the time, it's easy to eat. I'm the annoyed. Sauce. I'm so annoyed how wow the sixer sauce works really well with that. I'm annoyed how much you figured that out. I'm annoyed with you. It just goes to show. I'm how, annoyed with you. <laughs> it goes to show how salvageable this product is. We had the pot roast sandwich from Culver's. Now nah, I had to turn it into a taco. Yeah. Well, uh, we we landed on hot dog. Hot dog. Sorry. I'll tell you what, Larry. We tried to give it all to you though. You got the sandwich you wanted to oh. see. You got a bunch of jokes of us hating it, and then you have to watch us invent an entirely new food. <laughs> And the real question is, is the pot roast hot dog a sandwich? Ooh, yeah, that's a great question. You know what? Before you close that up, I should give this a wet wipe down because that thing is, the yeah. juice has went through the box onto the tray. I'm gonna go Culver's color. They're gonna get a low score with their own color. Ooh. I'm rating the hot dog, I've decided. The, the uh, pot dog. I've decided I'm gonna rate the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well on this show we do it out of five and we reveal our scores at the same time We had this nice song that we borrow uh, from Alex Alec Alex crank that. Thank you. Thank you. Out of five Alec Alec, Alec Trebek Alex Trebek. It's Alex yeah. Alec Trebek. It's Alex. Wow. I don't like him. <laughs> well, he's dead. I like him much better than Alec <laughs> You're thinking of Alec Baldwin, maybe? No, I was thinking of him. All I'm right. Just dumb. It's cranking. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Out of five. What do you give it? Ooh, for the pot dog? Ooh, the pot dog was good. Um, Even with the beef being tasty, when the integrity of the whole thing is effed. Yeah. I seven. mean, the, my integrity, for the pot dog, the integrity was phenomenal. <laughs> but not everyone's going to be creative like you. You're going to have some real non-creative right. ideas. I'm rating my own sandwich I invented. Which, is there bias because I invented it? Yeah, absolutely. All right, cut it off. On the count of three. Hold on, let me throw this beef. <laughs> Ah, we have a weird job. All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. On the count of three, reveal your score. Yep. One, two, three. Boom! <laughs> pot dogs are awesome, dude. <laughs> the pot dog. I did the pot roast sandwich, he did the pot dog. We don't always eat the same thing on these episodes. Oh, look who we got here, right in front of us. 
That's the owner of uh, Big G's. Big G's. What's, What's up, dude? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Yeah, you too, brother. Jamie, right? Yeah, normally I'm the name guy. All right, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then we've got a question for you. We're curious. What do you consider a pot dog? Is that a sandwich or not? Let us know in the comments. We'll let you know. Make your arguments, state your claims, so chance annoying. to be a lawyer. I can't believe I didn't turn mine into a pot dog. <laughs> I had the opportunity and I and I forayed it. Phenomenal. It's phenomenal. All right, well, we'll see you guys soon for another episode of Number Six of Cheese. Larry, just a laugher today, dude. Mm -hmm, Thank yep. you so much for the donation. I love episodes like this. Yeah, I have a fun one. I'll see you guys soon. He'll be there too. Peace.